at Samuel Gross Memorial Woods State Nature Preserve in Shelby County, Ohio. It's un unharvested woods. It means it was never logged by Europeans anyways, ever in its history of growth. So far as we know, how do you know that? There was no evidence of it ever being logged. And they had big trees. Some of the oldest trees in Ohio were in this woods. Hmm. Until they blew down in a tornado a couple years ago. There's still some big trees. We'll go see. Hey little beanie, we gonna go for a walk? You're gonna go for a stroll, lucky girl. All right, let's roll. <laughs> no pets allowed. Better leave some people in the car. was do you want to jog mom I'm not really a jogger but you I can walk jog. <laughs> Look at you going. Go, go, go. one of the great things about being on a budget in your family is that you search for adventures that are free <laughs> and one thing we've done is looked for state parks and nature preserves and things that are within driving distance for us to go to on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday and a place where the kids can go and romp around, work out some of their um, energy and where we can learn something or just enjoy a different kind of venue than our house. Uh, so this Gross Woods, Samuel Gross Memorial Woods is a place we've come a couple times and we came in the winter, didn't we Joe? Yep. Came in the winter once and that was really neat because all the leaves are down of course and everything was snowy and icy and there were I think there were some standing old pools of water that had kind of frozen and you could see deer tracks and stuff, places where animals had gone across and broken through the ice, just like, you know, shallow water uh, with a little ice on top. So anyway, we've enjoyed it through all the seasons and Joe's really good at tree identification. I have never really been good at that, have I, honey? He teaches me every year. We've been married a lot of years and I just can't it just doesn't soak in. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a good excuse to to keep coming out here. What kind of tree is that? Wait, I think I know that one. Good. What is, it? is it a shag bark hickory? It is a shag bark. Oh. Okay, do I get candy first then since I got an answer right? Awesome. Joe gets to push the stroller. Where's he at there? Thanks, honey. There's some buckeye trees in here. Oh, there's some white fungus. Dad, there's some white fungus over here. Is there? I love what it smells like out here. Yeah. What's it smell like? It smells like old leaves and like October. Like October. Well, it is October, so it's perfect. It's kind mm -hmm. of, there's a dampness in the air. It's kind of quiet, no bugs. Well, there are a few bugs. I did. I came <laughs> and On the way home, we stopped by a farm market that we just noticed popped up in our neighborhood. And they sell hand dipped ice cream, Jersey milk, and fresh Jersey cheese curds. And so we couldn't resist. We spent the big bucks on these cheese curds. What did 
What did you think of them? The Yummy. I know, I just kind of like it. like a mouthful of delicious butter. Dude, it's still eating with the hay. So everyone, everybody wants some. <laughs> hey. Burn out, burn out. Rosemary, that's green. All yeah, right, not as green. green as you, Bruno. <laughs> I Thanks for getting cheese curds. Even the bigger right. ones. Did you get more cheese curds, Mom? Uh uh. This is all we got. That's the. This is. These are the only thing you got. I'm cold already. Right? Get a sweater out first. Uh, Surprised with you. No, no. This is the only thing you got, Mom. I think got, you should have got one of their blocks of cheese. I'm gonna get one of their blocks of cheese next time. They had Asiago and Havarti and Gouda. Havarti. All made from Jersey Havarti. milk, and so we're gonna try that out. How pricey are they? Mm, reasonable. That's the thing about homemade farm stand stuff is that it's only really great quality. And the people that you buy it from are the people that put the work into it. So, <laughs> hopefully they charge fairly for their labor and their labor is worth, some, worth, some, worth a lot. So how much did it cost for this? Um, this was about eight ounces and it was $4. Oh. <laughs>